launch the view software, you begin with an empty page, just like this. It says empty map. And you may or may not have this little toolbar down here showing. That's a formatting palette. I'm just going to close it so that I can show you where to find that under Windows, Formatting Palette, or you can type Command 1. It brings it up, and this allows you to determine uh, shape contours, color, stroke widths, fonts, font size, and font formatting, and so on. So to start off, I'll just move this down here. To create a, a, an object, you would typically start here with the Node tool. And then you would choose the shape of that node that you're going to create. Because what you're doing here is creating something akin to a flowchart. The first thing you're going to create is a container to put your image in. And so we're just going to use a rectangle for that. And in my case, I was found through the analysis to be a yellow in terms of what my thinking style or thinking preferences are. So I'm going to choose a yellow color. I'm going to choose a slightly darker yellow for the outline, just because it's a nice design decision. I'll make my thickness about four pixels wide. And I'm just going to stay with the default Arial font. It's a sans serif font of 12 points in size and in black for the time being. So with the node tool, I simply drag a yellow node and it generates it and it's instantly got some text highlighted there that I can put in there if I wish. I can put my name in and then if I go to the content tool you'll notice that add image is grayed out. That's because we're still in a text input mode. So if I go out and I click back onto just the box itself You'll notice I can go into content and I can add image or file. The nice thing about this tool is that you can embed all sorts of different files like PDFs, Microsoft Word documents, videos, and in this case, images. So I'll just locate where my work is. There's my headshot right there. And I'll open that up. And you'll notice that it drops right in. It just so happened to use my old blue duo tone. So I'm just going to replace that with the yellow one. There it is. And replace it there. So thematically, I've got something consistent. A yellow node with a yellow duo toned headshot on it. And there's my name at the top. And you'll notice it's indicating a JPEG. And it also indicates a link to where that came from. So this software tracks the directory structures and the roots, traces the roots all the way back to where every piece of media came from, even if you bring it out from the internet. And if you double click on these things, it will actually go back, find that piece of media and launch it in an appropriate browser. So you can see there's my headshot. Now I can make this box a little bit bigger if I want to accommodate more things. You can have nodes within nodes. So I'm going to create a second node. And this time I'm going to rely on um, the Herman Brain Dominance Instrument. I'm going to take a look at that chart again. And there it is. And it says that the person who is yellow in thinking style is experimental. And they've got some other adjectives out here holistic, intuitive, integrative, and synthesizing. So I'm just going to list those words in there. I'll just click on here, and I can start typing. I'm experimental. Um, obviously not very good with memory. Holistic, intuitive. Intuitive integrative and synthesizing, whatever that means. Those are those million dollar words you need to look up on in the uh, dictionary. Um, integrative and synthesizing. That means you can kind of see the bigger picture. You see how all the dots connect to form the whole. So 
these are some of the characteristics of me. There's one node, there's another, and I can drag this into here. So what I've done is I've created a node within a node. And I could create a node within a node within a node. I could drag something into this little area here. So what you're creating are branches and sub-branches and sub-sub-branches. On the same level as this little node in here, I'm going to put an image. I did a screen capture earlier of my brain dominance, my left-right brain dominance test. And I saved that screen capture, so I'm going to bring that in. Again, I'll create a node for it, just as a little container. Then I'll go to Content. Sorry, i got to click off it and click back on. Content, Add Image. There it is, right there. Okay. And you'll notice that if I double-click that node, it launches the original graphic. You can see that I came out 81% right-brained tied to um, things like images, chaos, creativity, fantasy, intuition, and curiosity. So, I want to do the same thing. I want to connect those words to that image. I can drag this thing right in here, or I can even make this a little bit larger, and I can make another node, and I can put some of those words in there. So let me just double click that so I can see it and move this over. I can just see everything. And in here, I can write images, chaos, creativity, fantasy, intuition and curiosity. Boom. Now I can adjust that in size. And then I could take that list, that little node right there, I could drag that inside there. So we've got this, a node within a node, and this is a node within another node, and then I could take this node within a node, and drag it in here. And so we have this, and on the same level we have this, which is uh, left brain, right brain. I can even label it. And then we have descriptors nested again within that. So we have this entire structure. Now when we go out to do our skills, we're going to create skills in blue. And I'll just color that in. And there we have our skills. And a darker stroke. I'll call this skills. And I can connect these things, these nodes, and determine a relationship between them. Now, these are skills that I possess. So the flow, as it were, goes from me to these skills. So I would choose this. Um, it's a link tool. And when we drag from one node to the other, you'll notice it creates a connector. And it actually connects them, and it highlights some label text. And I can say, I possess, possess these skills. So it not only, oops, it not only creates the nodes and connects them, it also determines how they're related with this qualifying word here. Now I can start to list my skills. And again, you can copy and paste these things. Command C to copy. Click down, Command V, and some of the skills that I have is uh, public speaking, although you wouldn't know it from this. So, public speaking, I'll put that in there. But maybe that's not a huge skill, so perhaps I'll make that a little bit smaller. So I'm letting size determine the relative capacity that I have for these things. So I have skills that relate. I'm going to connect those. 
skills that relate directly to public speaking. And I'll put the word relate to. And then I am considering myself a fairly good writer, so I can copy this. Command V, uh, writing. And perhaps I have a greater degree of confidence in my abilities there. So again, I'll use the connector, connect the two nodes. Notice the label's highlighted. If I wished, I could just copy this, Command C to copy, double click on this, and then Command V, and just simply paste that in. It just makes it that much easier to get going on it. Now these are skills I possess. What about those skills that I wish to acquire? So let's look at skills I wish to acquire. Now, I've amassed a lot of skills in my time, so maybe I, I don't need to acquire quite so many as I, I may already have amassed over time. But um, we'll put this under skills again. But we'll use a much lighter blue this time. That's just to denote or denote that these are skills I wish to acquire. Um, and in this case, what I'll do is I'll connect them. And the flow is going to go the other way, from skills that I don't have towards me. And I seek these. I seek skills. Now what sort of skills do I seek? I'm just going to go back to here, select it with my selection tool, Command C, Command V. Um, I'm just moving this down and the window moves to accommodate it. And I can organize these things. I seek to acquire skills in leadership. That's important to me. I also wish to acquire skills in audio engineering, let's say. Audio engineering. That can be quite helpful. But it's not as high on my agenda as becoming a better leader, let's say. And so again, I need to connect these things. And this relates to, I can just paste it in. And the flow goes this way, Command V to paste it in. And you can see, I can drag a marquee around all of these things and I get a bounding box and I can make all of them move around, grab one of them and move them around to distribute them better. So here I've done the skills domain of my SCA competency map. It's not fleshed out completely. I would continue to add to this. Certainly you'll continue to add to yours as your year progresses and you gain more skills. But you want to create an inventory of those skills that you have and in a lighter version of this color the skills that you wish to acquire. And then you'll do that for your attitudes, and you'll do that for your knowledge. Be sure to consult the documentation and the videos on that. Thank you.